what's up it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel I am doing a haul video with some things that I've recently ordered and then I also have a few packages that I should have shown a long time ago but I didn't um, so there's that uh, first we're gonna jump in with pink paper plans which is Alicia who was formerly like a bow shop well no she's not formerly a bow shop she was formerly something something bows but I forget bows and glitter there it is I got a huge order in. She did allow me back into her PR team, which was so sweet of her because she definitely didn't have to. I took a 10 month fucking hiatus. Like nobody needed to do that, but um, she did let me in and these are the bows that I picked up. I'm like, so, mm, if you guys only knew, I have such a thing for bow clips and like, I don't really post on Instagram like pictures like on my actual feed just because I feel like one, it's just a lot of work and I just don't have the time or energy to do all of that but when I do I feel like bows are so cute to throw in your pictures like maybe either if you're doing up close or like a full spread they just look really cute so I have a shit ton and like let me let me show you be right back when I say I have a ton of bows I have a ton of bows <laughs> so I have like this frame that was from Michaels and it was like a shadow box but I turned it into a bow clip stand and I will have to be making another one very soon. So I probably will make a video on that if you guys are interested. But, um, so Alicia from Pink Paper Plans, now that's her new name, she's on Etsy, but she does a ton of these like felt fabric, not felt, fabric bows, and her bows are always just so good. So I'm gonna show you some of them. This one's really cute. It's, um, it's not like a solid pink. So maybe if I zoom in, you can kind of see, but it's really, really pretty. It's like a cotton fabric. So gorgeous. I loved this one. It just reminds me of spring, like chambray moments. And I got all of these on the wide gold clip, but she does also have rose gold available. I feel like this one would have looked really cute on rose gold. I just love gold. It's my favorite. And then I picked up this one. Like so perfect for summer. I wish I would have gotten into planning just a little bit earlier because then I could have done some summer spreads but irregardless <laughs> uh, this one is so gorgeous I love this color I'm actually wearing a shirt <laughs> similar color <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to show you my shirt I'm gonna save that one for last then I got this tie-dye polka dot one there are other colors so of course every fabric bow would be a little bit different depending on the variants and how it folds how she ties it this one is my freebie so if you use my code Kalo 20 um, or if you just throw my name in the notes if she's already having a sale, you can grab this freebie for the month of July and then I think in August I'm going to change it because it's my birthday month so I want to do something like big extra. Um, but yeah, and then this, these are like my favorite. When I saw these in her shop, I almost fainted. So these are smaller, they're called her mini bows. So for reference, like this is the difference in sizing. But these are all made out of like a faux leather and I just think they look so beautiful. So this is the black one, clearly. The pink one, it's like a super pale metallic dusty pink. It's a lot of adjectives in one. And then this one is like a smoother white pebble leather. And they are faux leathers, so. But that is my order from Pink Paper plans you guys should definitely check her out she's on the come up for sure but go and support my girl alicia she is so fantastic and there are really great bow freebies like almost every weekend so if you're looking for a bow she definitely always has um some really good releases so check her out next shop is my girl Jana from Jana from jk creates i believe is her shop name i had no clue that she was even making a shop obviously because i had been gone for so long but i can't remember who Somebody had reposted it. I assume someone on her PR team, but I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go and make an order. So I did make a $2 Tuesday order, which I believe is one of Jana's very first $2 Tuesdays. If not the first, I don't 100% remember. But yeah, so this is what I got. This was my all order freebie. It's in rose gold, so pretty. I don't really use mandalas, but I feel like having them on freebies is nice because I don't have to commit to the full price of a foiled set. Um, and I can still try it out. And then this is Lisa's freebie. I believe I put Lisa's. In, yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense because I got Lisa's freebie. Um, so there it is. You can use code Lisa15 for 15% 15 off of things that are not on $2 Tuesdays. I just really loved this. It's so beautiful. And it'll give me a chance to play around with florals to see if I actually hate it as much as I think I do. But 
This was the $2 Tuesday that I picked up. She does not have hollow in her shop, but she did leave me a comment on Instagram saying that she doesn't have um, hollow yet, but she's working on it. So hopefully that comes to fruition. I don't know. But these are the TVs. I really liked them. Um, I kind of wish that the whole TV wasn't foiled, but it is going to make a nice like pop of foil. Look, mm, look at that. My lights are blinding you. Can I take down the brightness? That kind of helped. Um, but I just thought they were really cute. I just liked the media stand. It actually looks very similar to my media stand, just a little more organized. Mine's obviously a little more cluttered. Then I got the Keurig. Oh, I love my morning coffee, but her gold really pops off, doesn't it? But yeah, super pretty, very cute. And then I also got the grocery bag ones. So whenever they come out in hollow, you better believe a bitch is gonna pick these up because they're just really pretty. I don't remember if these were hand-drawn or not, but I know that she does have hand-drawn things, like all of her baby doodles. I don't have a baby, so I don't need a baby doodle, but I will. We'll put some mad respect on that. Um, her baby doodles were hand-drawn because I saw her posting that she was drawing them on her iPad. Like, come on, skills. Come on, talent. But yes, that was JK Creates Co. She is on Etsy, I believe, so definitely go check her out. She has, like, a ton of PR girls, so you should... You should look into that. All right, next one I have here is Print Prussian. I'm gonna zoom you all the way out for her. Um, okay, so I don't really have anything like crazy. Like I know Shanice and like a few other people I'm seeing are getting the the um, like the planner keeper thing. I don't have that. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Um, this was an order I placed like right when I got back into the community because I really, really, really wanted a B6. So. I got a B6, but I am not committing to a spiral bound B6 because honestly, they're just expensive. And I don't know if I am even going to be consistent enough to make the investment worth it. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this way because it's way cheaper. So this was the dashboard that I got. Very cute, very cute. Um, then I got a coupon for Annie Plans printables, which is cool. Then this would be really adorable. Oh. I think everybody knows that. If you don't, here it is. <laughs> I don't know if that's from SBC. And then I got this freebie, which um, feels like, feels like a mat. Yeah, it is. It's definitely like a vinyl-y mat. And that's my invoice. Okay, on to the actual thing. So I just got the 12-month um, hardbound B6. So it's 52 weeks on two pages. I got it in black and then I also got it in pink because it was buy one get one free um, at the time that I made the order. So you have the 12 months in the front. I'm sure like everybody and their mom has seen this before. And then you have the um, week on two pages. So you have like the days and then Saturday and Sunday are split on the last column. So. That is this. Um, I kind of am going back and forth because I have two of these, obviously, but I'm thinking I'm going to use one for budgeting because I do like to track my spending and do like the what I spend in a week videos. Um, and I want to do those again. So I'm thinking about using one of them f to track like my spending and then doing the other to do like plan with me's on weeks that I don't feel like doing full out spreads, like maybe I have smaller kits or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, either way, it would just be more content. So I was like, oh yeah, whatever. Uh, plus I already, I'm, I'm getting two, two for the price of one. That was a good deal, but yes. So those are the B6 hardbounds. I bought two of them for the sale. And yeah, okay, moving into the next shop, I have a very old order. This one is from Nadao Sticky Studio, Nadu Sticky Studio, I don't really know. I'm not a linguist, but um, I did get sent this a really long time ago, like right before my hiatus, and she sent me these things that way I can give her my like opinion on her products and stuff, so I'm not really sure if any of these are available in her shop, if her shop is still open. I haven't really dug into any of that, didn't do my homework, but I wanted to show it anyways because she did send it to me and a lot of them are really pretty, so wanted to show you. So she did send me two kits. Um, again, don't know if these are in her shop anymore, so please, I don't, don't, don't read me in the comments. Um, this one is called White Christmas and it is super, super pretty. The paper is very different. Like, I don't know another shop that has this type of glossy paper but it's basically like super thin and it almost feels like photo paper 
but the pigment that it holds like so stunning like these colors look really really beautiful on the print here um but it is just it's just a glossy paper here and then you get the sorry nine full boxes two boxes up top bottom washi is cut for you with some headers and some two flags down here then you get some checklists these are um, heart checklists dates icons these icons are really cute i like how they're like super minimal so you can pull them into any spread even if it's not going to be this spread um, and then a full page of boxes which y'all already know i love having all the box options so that is the first kit which is really pretty i would probably work this into my kit lineup for the winter i'm trying just like not to overbuy stuff but that's obviously not going to happen i know what it's like to be in this community so next kit this one's called slumber party it's like a very tlc like love yourself take care of your skin drink fucking water type of vibe very cute i love this girl right here i just feel like the way her hair looks is so beautiful i don't know really love so full boxes it's the same kit format same type of paper um this one is a weekly box does this have a weekly box oh it did i thought it was two full-size check boxes oh, okay okay so cute 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 and i just realized that these are actually not foiled kits i feel like that's really hard to find nowadays when the kits are not already foiled for you but that gives you an opportunity to use all the overlays that we all hoard right also in this order she did give me a bow die um a bow vinyl and the matching die cut i just put it off to the side and then i got this card which is her business card actually this is very cute very cute love that um and then she did throw in an oops bag um which had these foiled washi strips in them top one is silver bottom one is gold same design different foils and then she gave me these foiled items as well she gave it all in gold and silver so this is the technology icons very very cute very minimal this is on a matte transparent paper well that's very nice okay really like that and they're super kiss cut so they're coat they're cut pretty pretty close i actually really like that super stunning very usable and then i also got the cleaning icons in gold and silver these little laundry ones are so cute. These are very cute. I could see a lot of people using these actually. And then header overlays, gold and silver gold is on top. It's kind of hard to see on this one. Sorry, in person you can definitely see. And then she did give me her line of minimalist icons. So these are the cleaning ones. So the same ones that were shown in the foil, just not foiled. And this is on a premium matte paper. Let me zoom you in. This one's a premium matte and she did give it to me on a matte transparent. Same thing for technology. This is premium matte, not foiled and a matte transparent. And then pushed it even further and did the technology icons in different colorways. So these are the technology ones in the light gray, dark gray, light pink and dark pink or light pink and pink. So very cute. You can tell that there is a different gradient when you see this in person. It's very hard to see because of my studio lights, but in person you can see the different gradients there. They're very faint, but very beautiful. And this gray definitely leans more um, cool toned, if that helps anyone at all. And then same thing for the cleaning icons in the different colorways. So light gray, gray, light pink, and pink. Very beautiful. Love that. Um, definitely will be using those. Thank you so much, sister. Um, sorry that it took so long, but, but thank you. I really appreciated it. Okay. And I think I have another one. This also came to me a really long time ago, but I wanted to show it. Um, when I was moving, I had thrown everything that was planning related into a big box and I like packed it immediately um, because the my planning stuff was the one thing I knew I wasn't going to be needing right away. So with that being said, it also included this package that I got back in like probably November or December from Heather of Heather B. Co. and I had not opened it because I had packed it away. So I just opened it for the first time when I moved into the house, like not even two weeks ago. Well, at this point, yeah, two weeks ago. And I wanted to show you because I literally felt so terrible because this is all so many gorgeous things in here that I had no clue I even had 
or that I had been sent because Heather is just so sweet and she surprised me and she's such a good friend. But okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now. So she sent me this reusable, or I'm sorry, <laughs> this notebook and it is so beautiful it's on a laminate cover and she put my name on it look so cute and when you open the notebook it is actually a dot grid again my lights really making me work to show you but the dots are super super faint which is really nice um in general but it is a dot grid all the way through nice really thick paper i'm gonna do a pen test in the back here I'll do it on this side. This is a Paper Mate Ink Joy. It is my pride and joy. I love this pen. Pen test. Ink Joy. And then let's do a Muji pen. I went to New York recently and um, I got a bunch of pens at Muji. <laughs> Muji gel. This is also in a 0.5. I really like the Muji pen because it writes so similar to the Ink Joy, but I just like the barrel a little bit better. It's just a little bit more comfortable. And then what do I have? This is a Pentel 0.3. I never use this pen. I feel like it makes my handwriting look so stupid. Pentel 0.3. Like, ill. I don't like that. <laughs> but just for the sake of it, I'll show it to you and there is no shadowing whatsoever. Love that. That's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna take it up a notch. Let's try. This is a mod liner. And no shadowing. Okay, come through, Heather. Very cute, okay. I'm definitely going to take this to my job training. <laughs> Is that extra? Do you think they're going to look at me like, who's this extra bitch with a custom ass journal? <laughs> I don't care. Um, so that is awesome. Okay. And then she also sent me a freaking pop socket, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. A freaking pop socket. I just ordered a new phone case. So the second I get my new phone case in, I probably will use this. But my phone case right now is ugly as fuck. So there's no point in putting this beautiful pop socket on. My ugly fucking phone case. I don't like it. But it is what it is. Very cute. I think this is like that resin. It's so pretty. Then she gave me this clip with a dangle on it. A flower dangle. So, so freaking cute. On a wide gold clip, which I love. And then I got some stickers in this little pouch. Okay, what do I have in here? I'm seeing a name vinyls. I'm here for it. Oh my gosh, okay. She gave me, she is so sweet. She gave me my name cut and foiled on clear paper in every foil color. Look at that freaking hollow at the top. Like all I'm seeing is the hollow. All I see is that hollow. That is so cute. Thank you. These are so beautiful. And then this was her freebie at the time, or maybe a script sampler. So cute. Ooh, this is very pretty. I like this, like, like loopy font. That's cute. And then a K vinyl in gold. And a little deco sheet with some hexagons. Aw. <laughs> this was so sweet. I really, truly love Heather. She is so great. You guys should check her out. She has so many great things. When I was in my A6, I was constantly in her shop. Like, so many great dividers, dashboards. Like, so cute in her designs. Very current designs. And she has a lot of, like, really good collections. I remember she did, like, a Disney princess collection. But... She like modernized the princesses. It was very cute. You guys should 100% check that out. But those are all the shops I have for right now. And then I will see you guys in the next set of the haul. So smart. So not even after like five minutes of me ending that video, my boyfriend Paco literally <laughs> brings me these two packages. So I had to stop what I was doing and open them up. So this one is from Carlia Plans. I think this is a new to me shop, but I wanted to support her. I saw Plana Hannah um, show her shop and I was like, oh, these are cute. So I got a bunch of mini scripts from her shop. I'm a script person. So how do I open this? I think I need, I think I need a degree to open this. Oh my gosh, my gosh, sister, that is a cello moment. Okay, 
So this is the July freebie, very cute font, looks very similar to something I am familiar with, but it's fine. Um, very cute, she has a YouTube and an Instagram, definitely go check her out. This is the $15 or more freebie, ow! Thank you so much, oh these are all cute. Definitely would not see myself using this ever, um, however, I can appreciate that they are cute, can appreciate that. And then this is a collab freebie with Crafty Planner Co, which coincidentally, I feel like I have looked at that shop too. I don't know. Um, so these are all of the little mini scripts that I got. Most of them are, um, I don't know. I don't, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. They're just very usable, so I had to pick them up. This one says, cleaned all the shit, and this is the sticker sheet that I saw on her Instagram feed, and I was like, okay, yeah, I, I'm gonna go ahead and shop her stash. All of these are mini sheets, so they're like the size of a credit card, just to keep that in mind. Um, storing these is 100% going to be a bitch, but I think I might just make like a little small, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. But cleaned all the shit, very cute. Um, oops, I bought more wax. Ugh. I think that's relatable. Feeling spendy. I should have got two of these. Then Chipotle. I love the size of these scripts. Like just for reference, here's my nail. This is acrylic. <laughs> and I just think they're really cute. You get so many on a sheet. No spend. I got two of these. Oh, three of these. Love that for me. A grocery order. I have not gone inside of a grocery store in I don't even know how long. I am definitely a grocery order person. I got McDonald's. Target drive up. I do go inside a Target, but I still love a good drive up. It gives me a reason to go inside, you know? I'm like, oh, I'll do drive up. Mm, I'm already here, let me go inside. Load dishwasher. I really like these mixed fonts, so that's kind of where I was like really getting into it. Grocery pickup. Sonic. Sonic is my guilty pleasure. Can't even explain it. Panera. Oh, did I get two McDonald's? Maybe she threw that in extra, I don't know. And then nails done which I love having just scripts for things that I don't want to write because I don't love my handwriting 90% of the time, but very, very cute. I think I got, I think this one was an extra. I don't think I meant to order two, but I don't, I don't think I did that. Anyways, that is my order from Carlia Plans. Definitely go check her out. Like the mixed font y'all is so cute. Um, I do support sticker uh, script shops like an unhealthy amount just because I hate my handwriting on the daily. So. I love a good script shop moment. So that was Carlia Plans. I don't believe she has any PR girls, but um, she did. I did catch her on a sale when I got these. I think they were only like a dollar something a sheet. So definitely worth it. High value. So many scripts on one mini sheet. Thank you so much, Carlia Plans. This one I am super excited about. It is my Miss and Meow order. I don't think I've ordered from Regina since she changed her name and did like a whole rebranding. So I'm very excited about this right now. I got a, I got a couple oops kits. Let me grab my, ooh, 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 okay. I did not realize I had done that to myself. So I got four oops kits and the limit was five. So I really should have went for five. <laughs> should have went five for five, but it's, it's cool. Um, this was the first oops sale that Regina had ever done and they were so affordable. Like Regina, if you're watching this, you need to charge me more money so that way that way it's worth your time, sister, okay? But they were super, super affordable. You guys should definitely keep an eye out for her next Miss and Meow Oop sale because it was totally worth it. I picked up four kits today. Um, I wish I knew which one was which, to be honest. I see the names on my invoice, but I don't know which one is which. Uh, oh, they're at the bottom. I'm a dumbass. Okay, first one's first. Look, mm, look at the... Mm, 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 mm. I'm taking out of the cello. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Okay. This is so stunning. This one is called Chic Boutique and it is rose gold foiled as you can see. And Regina, just like all my other friends, have such high expectations for their shops and the foiling. Um, so this one is an oops, but I can't see any oops in the foiling on the first page. The only thing I can maybe see is that maybe the belt was a little misaligned off of her pant or her hip. Oh, just kidding, I found it, okay. So right off this lipstick foil, it is a little bit, um, oh, I don't think I can get you guys to focus on it. 
it is a, okay of course you're not gonna see it on the camera but in person you can kind of see it on the lipstick I know she has like super high expectations for her shop so that is why I think that is an oops not because I actually believe that, that is low quality but I think that that's where she's kind of seeing it um, then we have the kind of like the functional page so day covers headers I don't really dig the today headers but I'm sure I can pull something from my collection and find something that would work just fine this is a stunning page look at that beautiful y'all absolutely beautiful love these um scallop circles that she has these are cute too i don't remember seeing these in her format but very cute oh oh <laughs> this is so beautiful oh my gosh i love this this is very cute i wish i did not start my plan with me because i would 100 percent be using this kit gosh Whenever my boyfriend came inside um, with these packages, I literally was laying down the base of my plan with me for this week. So I'm like interrupting myself because I had to film this one. This one is stunning. This one is called Golden Hour. And ooh, there's some extras. Okay, oh, okay, okay. We have some additional skin tones and hair colors. The very cute deco sheet little floral deco moment this one is also foiled in rose gold it is so beautiful this one again is called golden hour just reminds me of that casey musgrave song it's your golden hour i don't even think those are the words i don't know um let us live like flowers wild and beautiful and drenched in sun okay bitch okay stay hydrated mother trucker i don't know I'm very cute very beautiful again i'm looking for the oops on this page I'm not really seeing it on this page, so don't know. Don't know what you were seeing, Regina girly. Don't know, sister. Functional page again. Icon, 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 work, work, work. Very cute, very beautiful, very, very beautiful indeed. And then the washi, wow, wow, wow. This like cotton candy sunset is giving me something to think about. It really truly is. I love this script on her sidebar. Um, very cute, very cute indeed. Strong, strong picks all around, strong picks. I can't believe I only got four kits. These are all fucking beautiful and I only got four? What an idiot. <laughs> what a fucking idiot move. Okay, next up we have sea salt, sea salt, sea salt, sea salt. Um, sea salt also came with a little extra in the busy back. This one is like a florally moment. Love it, Coolio. Um, On to the kit. This one is silver foiled. Hello. And it's just really beautiful. Honestly, I like how she does this foil work in the flowers. I think that's really, really pretty. This quote says, wind blowing in my hair, let the sea salt soak in. Girl, you're going to dehydrate your skin if you let that salt soak into your skin. Hmm. <laughs> we need to have some lotion or something. I don't know why I got this kit because these birds are freaking me out. Um, I have a very strong fear of birds. It's completely irrational. It was not triggered by anything. So don't ask me, why are you scared of birds? I don't know. I just am. Um, this one is oops because it is definitely misaligned a little bit. That's totally still workable though. I would definitely still use this. Um, that's all I can see though. <laughs> there's like a speckle on this scallop sheet and there's like an ink smudge on this one. I think this is the kit that's the most obvious to see. Like there is misalignment again here, but I would still 100% use this kit. These are really pretty. Again, the foil work in the florals is stunning. Uh, stunning, 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 stunning. Okay, this one was sea salt. Next. And our last but not least, if I can get this in the bag, last but not least is Miss Desert Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Desert Rose. Oh, this is in a different cello. Okay, funky bunch, kind of weird, kind of peculiar. But Desert Rose, very cute. This one is rose gold foiled. There is a theme. This box, captivating. This box is captivating. I'm in love with her. This box is also very cute. Oh, very cute. Very, very cute. Good foil work, Regina. I am I am into it. I think this one's an oops because we did have a little bit of foil kind of just stick here. 
um, but I'm not really seeing any cutting issues or alignment issues on this page. But um, there are some alignment issues down here on the icons. I think this one's kind of obvious to really see it. You can kind of see how it's just a bit off center in the cut. Regardless, it is still very usable. I would 100% still use this kit. Um, that's really all I'm seeing. This one's a deep cut, but girl, ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with a little deepness. <laughs> that's funny. Um, ooh, very beautiful. This one has a speckle in the foil, but that's all I'm really seeing. I'm like hunting to find the oops in these, you guys. Like, I'm really, truly hunting for it. Um, it's not noticeable to the eye at a first glance. Like this one, the T isn't foiled all the way through, but... I'm hunting for it. And honestly, before I started um, helping Heffa at Letters to Apollo like a year ago, I could not spot anything that was wrong with her stuff. And she would have to show it to me because she would sit there and throw it away. She's like, oh no, this is terrible. Throw it away. I'm like, throw, throw, throw it away. Throw it, no, don't throw it away. Throw it in my, throw it in my backpack, you know? Um, so I kind of have just a very sensitive eye to those things because I know what shop owners look for when they're being so like, Picky is a terrible word because of its connotation, but they're not being picky. They're really just making sure that they are upholding their standards, which I love. But all of these kits are so fucking stunning. If you guys can believe this, I got all four kits for, all four kits plus shipping for 40 bucks. And I'm in, the, I'm in the States and she's in Canada. So shipping alone was like $8. Shipping alone was like $8 um, to get it from Canada to the States. So before like, shipping and all that i got all four of these kits for 34 bucks which is sickening that is sickening i'm literally shaking in my boots okay those were two really good shops y'all miss and meow and car leah plans so definitely go and check all my girls out this is regina from miss and meow car leah from car leah plans heather from heather b co um who else did i just show Jana from JK Creates. I already put I already put those icons away. Oh, okay. I have a freebie out. I have a freebies out. <laughs> Definitely go and check them out. As I get more orders, I'll start filming a couple more um, like parts of different haul videos. But for now, my mask is absolutely disgusting. Oh, Alicia from Pink Paper Plans. Um, but my desk looks absolutely disgusting. So for the time being, I am going to cut the haul video short and just leave it at this. And I will catch you guys next time on the flippity flip. Bye, y'all. Thank you.